Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the connection of Azure SQL database from Visual Studio Code. So from Visual Studio Code, we have to connect to the SQL Server, Azure SQL Server and the database and query the data from that database from the VSC. So for that purpose, we have to meet the prerequisites of having the VSC, which is Visual Studio Code. You can see on the screen, this is the VSC and you have to have Azure SQL database. So on the screen, we are using our old database, which we have been using CK SQL DB with the server details mentioned here. Okay, so the same database we have to connect and query from the VSC. So how we have to do it? We have our VSC in place. We have our database in place. Okay. Now point three is you have to have an extension. So on this VSC on the right side, the lowest icon you can see here, if you hover, you can see on the left side extensions. The shortcut is control shift and X. So if you click on this extension, it will show you the different extensions which are already installed and the ones which you can install from the marketplace. In the extensions search bar will type here SQL Server. It will show up the different extensions with that name and we have to install the SQL Server MS SQL extension. Just click on it. Now on the right side, you'll see the details. It is used to develop Microsoft SQL Server, SQL Database and SQL Data Warehouse environment. Okay. And here are the other details for the MS SQL or SQL Server extension for the VSC. We'll click on this install button, which is in green color at the center. Just click on it and wait for it to get installed. Once this is installed, you'll see the disable and the uninstall button. And here on the right panel, you can see two new icons are created after installing this extension. The first icon is the database projects and the second one is SQL Server. Now we close this and go to the SQL Server left side icon. Click over the SQL Server icon. It will show up the connections bar on the left side. So we'll click on add connection. When you click on add connection, it will open up the connection dialog. In the collection dialog, we have to fill in the different details. First is the profile name. So we'll give it as CK SQL DB. Now input type is parameters. We are going to give the details in the form of parameters. You can select the connection strip, but in this current video, we just go with the parameter type and see how we have to give the details. Now, next is the SQL server name. If you just click here, it will ask us the SQL Server instance. Now, how we have to write the SQL Server instance is the server name. It will be the server name dot database dot windows dot net. So just copy it to clipboard and paste. We'll go to the authentication type. So we are using the SQL login for this database username and password, which we have given for the Azure SQL Server while creation of it. So it is CK SQL DB. And the password will give. This looks fine. We'll save the password, give the database name as CK SQL DB, and try to connect. So you can see here it is taking time to connect to the database. And yep, we are connected. Now on the left side and the connections, we can see CK SQL DB, the profile name which we have given. And inside this connection of the Azure SQL database, we could see all the database tables which are present there. So let's right click on one of the table and try to query this table. Let's wait. So yeah, it has selected some thousand rows. Yep. So here is the query result in the bottom section where we have the different columns and rows in the table called Aadhaar details. Now let's see one more table. Let's try to select some rows from this table as well. Hold on for some time. 
and here comes the execution and the result will be displayed so yeah the result from the other table called Kamsam is shown here this is how we can connect to the Azure SQL database from Visual Studio Code by having the extension SQL Server MS SQL enabled from the VSC and establishing the connection using the connection details. Do let me know in comment if you have any query. Thank you for watching the current video. Happy learning. Bye.